Hello and welcome. This is Christy Haig with a tutorial for you from digitalscrapbookingclasses.com. Today I am excited to share with you a little bit about Picasa. Picasa is a free program um, from Google that I use to organize my pictures and all of my scrapbooking stuff. Um, I think it organizes it very well, very easily. Um, but I also really love it because it helps me when I'm actually scrapbooking. Um, so I just wanted to show you a little bit about how it works. We are going to be featuring our Picasa class at Digital Scrapbooking Classes um, for the month of December 2011. So I wanted to give you an overview to show you um, what Picasa can do and see if you would be interested um, in using it yourself. And if you are, then um, we have a great resource to help you um, get it all set up, get all of your things tagged, and um, be using it very easily and very quickly. So let me just show you a little bit over here on the left. You can see um, the folders and the albums. Now folders are the actual folders on your computer where things are stored. Albums are just groupings of things that I have tagged in Picasa. So for my folders, I have Picasso paying attention to two different folders. One is my pictures folder, which is on my computer hard drive. And if I open it up here, you can see that I have a couple different folders of pictures on my hard drive. The most current is going to be the October uh, through December 2011 folder. So when I click on this, all of my pictures from that folder appear over here and I can easily scroll through them. Um, you'll notice that some of these pictures have a little star by them. Those are pictures that I have um, asked Picasa to upload to my um, Picasa folder on the web and by doing that I can then get the code to share the these pictures on my blog or on forums um, so it's a great way for me just to organize pictures um, to pick out some that I want to share with family that we have um, that live far away and those kind of things so that's my pictures folder it I also Picasso also watches my M drive which is my external hard drive and on my external hard drive, let me close these up so you can see what all I have. I have a, five different folders. I have um, some hybrid projects that I'm working on. I have my scrapbooking pages. I have um, some scrapbooking extra things. I have all of my kits and templates and graphics that I use. And then I have a folder of templates that I create also. One of my um, favorite things about Picasa is that when I go into my layouts, and let me find my 2011 folder here, you can see an icon for the PSD files. So often when you open up folders and try to look at your PSD files, you just get the little Photoshop icon, um, and you can't see what the actual layout is. But here I have um, a view of it. Now I have two of a lot of these because I have my PSD file, and then I also have um, the JPEG file that I have saved, resized, and saved for the web. And so that's also showing as a separate icon. You can see, um, for example, here, I have a layout that doesn't have a double. It does not have a JPEG version of it. I just have my layered file. I have not shared this one on the web yet. And so if I were to open um, a folder just in my Windows, and try to look at this layout, I would see the little Photoshop icon and I wouldn't have any idea what the layout was, but in Picasa I can see it all. You can also zoom in on Picasa um, to get a closer look. And one of the other cool things is um, when I open up a picture to full size, there is room for a caption at the bottom. And I have used that to add all of my credits for the layout. So if I ever wanna share this layout, um, somewhere all I have to do is open up Picasa and click and select that all um, copy it and then paste it um, in the gallery or in the forum wherever I'm sharing it so that's a very cool um, thing that I use Picasa for with my scrapbooking pages I also use it um, to catalog all of my kits um, Let's take a look at one of the folders. Um, here is a kit that I have by Miss Mint. Um, and I have on 
her preview, I have tagged it. You can see it over here, I have tagged it preview. And then I have turned my previews into an album over here. And so when I click on preview, it opens up all of the graphics that I have tagged with preview. So these are all of the kit previews. Um, so if I'm looking to scrapbook something, I can sit here and scroll down through this and find whatever kit I want to use um, to scrapbook the page. And what I do then is if this is the kit that I want to use, I right click on it and I choose locate on disk and it will open up my Windows folder with that kit. So then all I have to do is open up my Photoshop elements and open up and pull this back to the front, click on, and I'm going to hold my control key down while I select a bunch of different icons that I want to use. And then I can drag them right in here. Now back in Picasso, I could do the same thing to look for an alpha. Here are all the alphas that I have tagged. I could do the same thing to look for a template that I might want to use. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and not only can I right click on it and locate on the disk, but with a template, for example, if this is the one I want, I'm just going to resize my Picasso here a little bit. And let's say this is the template I want to use. I just can drag it right from Picasso into Photoshop Elements also. And there's that. And I can do the same thing with my pictures. If I go and look at the pictures and say this is the one I want to use, then I can simply drag that directly into, into Photoshop Elements too. The other cool thing with Picasso is that you can search for things. So if I wanted um, to find something related to baby, I could search for baby and it will find anything in those folders. So here are a bunch of layouts I've made about baby. Here are some um, folders or graphics that have been named with baby in them. So I think, oh, that's really cute. So I'll locate this folder on the disk. And I'll add some from this also. I can also um, search for, you'll see down here, a whole bunch of different tags that I've used. Um, I introduced you to my previews and I tagged my alphas and the templates because I've turned those into albums. But I can also, if I wanted to search for dates, I take the name that I have my date tag, and I have it dates C, because when I search for dates, I'll find anything that was labeled dates. And I want just the th things that I have tagged dates. These are my favorite date icons that I go back to over and over again. And so I can go through and see all of the tags all of the graphics that I have tagged with date C that way. And so I can just open them all right into Photoshop Elements, have them all ready to go. Um, like I said, I have all of my kits and I didn't go through when I tagged my kits, I didn't go through and tag everything you can see. I tagged the preview, I tagged some of my favorite um, dates, a few favorite elements, those um, stitchings or staples that I go back to all the time. Um, some papers, some neutral papers that I like to use. Um, so anyway, if this at all interests you, um, you can go to Picasa, just Google Picasa online and you can download it and play around with it yourself um, and try to set it up. Or if you'd like to uh, become a subscriber, um, we are currently featuring, like I said, our Picasa class this December 2011. But the class will be available to our subscribers whenever you want to sign up and take a look. For more tutorials and classes in digital scrapbooking, head over to digitalscrapbookingclasses.com. Have fun and keep scrapping memories.